Hello, good day to you, it's me Andy, and some good news for those that are trying to uh, pass the message that fast food and um, McDonald's are actually not good for you. Uh, Jamie Oliver, the celebrity chef, a bit of a pretentious prick, but hey, he has uh, taken McDonald's to task, and I believe he's paid for it himself. He's won a battle against the junk food chain uh, because Jamie Oliver has shown that their burgers are not fit to be ingested because they are highly toxic. Uh, the idea is that they are washed with ammonia hydroxide, which is then made into the, the meat that's um, made into a, a beef cake and it's used to make beef burgers with so this is basically the uh, the fat part of the meat and all the rubbish that they use they chop it up and it's unfit for even to give to dogs oh I find that shocking uh, but why would you eat ammonia hydroxide it's a poison anyway if you look for this story in on the internet you'll find that it's been fact-checked already and <laughs> denied so have a look at this this is uh typed it in and the first one in the list is snopes.com which is a fact checker so we know it's true it's a true story it's also been shared in mainstream media as well mcdonald's not the favorite but they are um one of the biggest and they are part of the whole new world order the cabal uh they have a lot of pull, pulling power but this is uh the story you can see slopes.com and it goes on to try and deny that he won and proved that it was uh they wash the meat in ammonia hydroxide unfortunately so he has done a uh, a few articles about this and a few videos now this this uh, this meat would have been sold as dog food but i personally don't think um even dogs would eat it apart from the quality the uh the, the additive that they use, ammonia hydroxide, is harmful to health. And obviously this is the process of pink shit. <laughs> Which is why they go on about pink, the colour of the the raw uh, product. But I think the idea is he also shows how chicken nuggets are made as well. Uh, it's grease, pallets, cart cartilage, viscera, bones, head, legs. And obviously they are liqu liquefied and then it's obviously re reconstituted into a uh, nugget uh, and then obviously they add other stuff to make it tasty uh, in the US Burger King and Taco Bell have already abandoned the use of ammonium hydroxide and the food industry uses it to as a antimicrobial agent and obviously this allowing uh, McDonald's to use entry meat unfit for human consumption in its burgers which is what they were doing and of course they've had to change their ways because good old Jamie Oliver has taken them to task but what you should remember is uh, this is not healthy anyway and uh, really I've got a real bugbear when you drive past a uh, uh, McDonald's with all those young children in there, the uh, parents that take their two, three, four-year-olds into because they think it's a a good meal to have for their kids when it's calorific and horrific because they are actually not doing their children any good. It's not a healthy product to eat and... Uh, I can certainly say I've not had a McDonald's for at least 12 years when I decided that it wasn't do, do me any good. Uh, I used to have one every week, uh, sometimes more than one. Uh, and yes, they are quite tasty. They do, I do like a nice Big Mac, 
uh, especially the sauce is quite nice, but the the whole thing is just not good. And I must say, having travelled um, around the world, the UK version of, of the McDonald's and also uh, the KFC product is totally different here than it is in, say, Thailand, which is, I, I would personally eat a, a KFC in Thailand because it is actually quite tasty and um, I don't know if it's good for you or not but I, I would prefer Thailand version of it than I would the UK version and I have had um, McDonald's in America and again it's okay but again I would prefer a Thailand version over what they have over there uh, so best thing is don't eat it at all. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye for now.